Hello, I am Shara Cox, and I am a district technology facilitator with East Baton Rouge Parish School System. This video is on what is Canva. Quite often, Canva and Canvas are confused. Well, just to clarify, Canvas is a learning management system that is used to manage and deliver educational content. On the other hand, Canva is a free online graphic design platform that is stocked with ready to use templates, which allow you to create presentations, newsletters, digital anchor charts, and much, much more. My top three Canva perks are as follows. The first thing that I so love about Canva are the templates. They are completely customizable. Then the second thing is there are tons of elements. And by elements, I mean fonts, photos, shapes, etc. We'll get a chance later in this video to kind of take a little tour of Canva so that you can see the elements that I'm referring to. And the third thing that I love so much about Canva is the magic resizing tool. This tool allows you to resize your project to many different sizes. For example, if your school created a flyer for STEM night, just so to speak, if you guys were having STEM night and you created a flyer to send home to your parents, you can also resize that same flyer. You don't have to do any more work. You just go to that tool and you can resize that same flyer to the format to where now you can share it on your school's Instagram page. So it automatically resizes it to different sizes with the click of a button without you having to reformat the whole project. So I think those things are my top three perks, although there are many, many, many perks to use in Canva. So come on, let's take a quick tour of Canva. All right, so as you can see, let's pull up a new page. Let's go home. All right, so this is how Canva looks when you log in, okay? So it has all of your projects. So if you've never been in Canva, you probably won't have any recent designs. Over here, you have Home, you have Magic Studio, Projects is gonna bring you to all of your project, templates, brands, app, classwork. So this is how it looks whenever you get in. So when you want to create a new design, you just go up here to create new design. And I get so excited when I press this button because I'm opening up a world of creative possibilities. So you go to create a new design. I always like to type in US letter and that's how I just ensure that I just get a regular page or it's different things you can do that. If you just want a regular, you know, eight by 11 page, you can choose the portrait or the landscape version. Or if you wanted a flyer, you could type in flyer. And these are the different size flyers that you can do. Or if you see educational presentation, if you wanted that. So it's different things. But if I just want to start off with a normal document, my go-to is to type in US letter and I just click it and it gives me a normal size page, okay? So from here, let's look if it ever decides to come up. Here it is. All right, so we have design. This is where you can find different templates. So these are different letter templates you see that so if you were on an educational presentation it would have different templates for that let me actually i'm gonna go back home and i'm gonna pull up another type of um item so we can see other templates so we'll do educational presentation and then when you go to the design templates on there it's going to give you templates for different things that you can make like if you wanted to use something like this it's going to ask you, do you can apply one page or you can apply all of them? So if we chose to do all 19 pages, all of the 19 pages will be applied. All right. All right. So that's that. And on here, these are different templates. So that's where you find your templates. When I say they are already, they are there, they are ready to customize. Like right here. If you wanted this, instead of saying morning slides, maybe you wanted to say your name of your class. Miss Coke's class. I love how it's completely customizable. Like if you wanted to choose, okay, let's do it in the center and let's change the color. See how quick and easy that was? I love Canva for this reason. So then you have elements. And elements are just, like I said earlier, that is all of your shapes, 
graphics and different photos, tables, videos, audio things of that nature. So say for instance, if we wanted to go find an apple, we can type in apple under elements and you can get like a little picture of an apple. And I also love the that you can just drag and drop the item straight onto the page and it works just that easy. Text is where you can just find different texts. So you could just, if you needed something else on here, you wanted to type something, you can type in schedule. You can just put it there. Just giving you an example. You can also change the colors so that it works better. All right. So that's just giving you some. And they also have um, texts that are already kind of created where you can also just modify it and change it to be what you need it to be also. Then you have uploads. Uploads is where you put in stuff that you would like to upload. So, you know, I was making a presentation on Fig Jam and I wanted to get their logo. I just downloaded this from online and put it here. And from there, you're just able to drag it in. I did not want it to take the picture of the bus. And I definitely use my undo button. So I don't want it to go over there. See? You can just upload things like that. Draw allows you to annotate on the page. So let's get on another page because we've did a lot of stuff to this page. So if you wanted to annotate, you can just, you know, you have the option to write on the page. All right. And your students also have the option to use that tool. If you wanted to share out a document where each student would have their own copy, they will be able to annotate. There's a pencil, a marker, a highlighter, a, um, an eraser. And you're also able to change the color and the thickness of the line. Then you have where your projects are stored. You have other apps that you can make work into the Canva um, platform. Like you can, you know, add in add-ons for like YouTube and other different things of that nature. And you have photos and videos. So this, guys, was a, just a quick tour of the Canva platform. If you haven't already noticed, I totally love Canva. I absolutely try to use it for everything. And guess what? Canva loves us right back. Yep, us. And by us, I mean educators. They love us so much that they offer us a specialized Canva for Education version for free 99. And y'all know how I feel about things that are free. I want you guys to take advantage of this. So you guys can go to www.canva.com slash education backslash and you can sign up for your free Canva account. For my East Baton Rouge Parish School System users, all you have to do is verify using your EBR credentials and they're going to ask you for your school name, your school address. When they ask for the website, you can use www.eburschools.org. It's going to verify you for a free account. You will have access to the whole library of elements, templates, everything. Nothing will be off limits to you. So you're pretty much going to, they're providing educators with free versions of Canva Pro. So, just one question before I go. Will Canva be your new superpower? Thanks for watching. Join me for more.